Hello, thank you for joining the New York Immigration Coalition's Understanding New York's Primary Elections video. This video is a part of a series of civic engagement videos that we're hoping to share with you. We would like to thank the New York City Council and the New York City Department of Youth and Community Development for sponsoring this video. My name is Wenny and I will be your facilitator today. In this video, we will learn about primary elections and how they work in New York City. There are three levels of government that we are all a part of, the federal, state, and city. Today, we'll be focusing on the city level of government in New York City. There are elections every year, so voters can choose which candidates best represent their wants and needs. When we think of when to vote, we might think of election day. But did you know that there are at least two election days each year? The most well-known election day is the first Tuesday in November, which is for the general election. When we look at our ballots for the November general election, we might see many candidates, but there is only one candidate representing each political party. Primary elections are often held in the summer prior, and only some people can vote in them. Let's dive in. During the general election, we may hear friends and family say that they don't like the candidate in their political party and don't want to vote. We can tell them that the next primary election is their chance to choose a candidate that they do like in their party. Primary elections are often called the elections before the elections. They are for voters enrolled in a political party to choose who they want to see as the representative of their party. When we look at our ballots for the primary election, we might see many candidates and they are all looking to represent our political party. There can be multiple primary elections happening at once because there are multiple political parties. For example, because party A and party B are different political parties, they will each have their own primary election. Someone winning the primary does not automatically get them the job. The winner of the primary election will have to run again in the general election where they will go against other candidates that won their party's primary election. The winner of the, your political party's primary election will move on to represent your party in the general election that happen every year. In New York City, some political offices we can vote for are the mayor, city comptroller, public advocate, borough president, and city council members. The winner of the general election will be the one who gets the job and represents all of us, regardless of which party we are in. In New York City, we sometimes have a primary election that looks like this, where there are no candidates running in other parties. This scenario happens when most candidates in the area are part of the same political party and members of other parties do not want to run for that office. If only one party has a primary race and there's no second party running in the general election, this means that the candidate who wins the primary election gets the job. Although there can be multiple primary elections, in New York State, we have what is called closed primaries. This means you must be enrolled in a political party to vote in that party's primaries. Enrolling in a party does not mean you have to vote for that party in the general election. Enrolling in a party will make you eligible to vote in that party's primary if you want to vote. If you are not registered in a political party that has a primary election or are not registered with the party, you will only be able to vote in the general elections. If you would like to enroll in a party, update your party, update your address, or make any other changes, you can fill out a voter registration form. And it's okay if you are already a registered voter. We all need to fill out this voter registration form to make changes. You can pick up a form at a local library, submit one online via the New York State Department of Motor Vehicles website, or request a form be mailed to you at nycvotes.turbovote.org.
Now that we all know about New York's primary elections and how important they are, let's vote. Thank you so much for watching this video. Again, thank you to our partners at the New York City Department of Youth and Community Development and the New York City Council for making this content available. For more information, please visit nycvotes.org or nyic.org. Thank you so much and have a great day.